Summer has arrived. That means venturing out for fun outdoor activities. I'll be lake bound with my family, and Sun and Ski Sports is my one-stop shop for all things I need to pick up before road trips are headed to the lake. Five locations in DFW and online at sunandskisports.com. The new country, 96.3. Second, 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 second date update. We got Michael on the line. Michael had a date with Andrea, but no second date. We're going to see if we can help him out this morning. First of all, Michael, tell everybody how you met Andrea. Yeah, we met on Bumble. I think it's like, you know, <laughs> very romantic, right? Well, you know, a lot of people doing that these days. That's a good way to meet somebody. And, you know, look, I was super excited to meet her because she approved me. And I, <laughs> to be honest with you, I kind of just thought that she was just way out of my league. So I was like, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And how did the date go? It, 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 you know, it didn't really go out that well. I feel like I was just, I don't know. I just took her out for a drink, something just kind of low key. Um, I was just super nervous because she's just so gorgeous. And the problem is that, so when I get nervous, I get the hiccups Mm. and it's not even the worst part. The worst part is that my hiccups like kind of sound like belching. And and that was happening during the date? Yeah. And I I noticed it a few times and I'm hoping that maybe she didn't notice, but just the timing is that suspect that where when that started to happen, she kind of was like looking at her watch and was like, you know, I actually have to get going. And I was like, oh, okay. And then just it was over. Okay, so you think your hiccups is what kind of just scared her off and ended the date? Yeah, because she thought it was burps. And it's like, I'm not going to be burping on a first date in front of a gorgeous girl. I'm not like insulting right. her or whatever. I don't know. And you did try to contact her after the date? Yeah, I mean, I texted her and then I even called her, which I don't usually call people, but whatever. <laughs> and just nothing, so. Okay, all right. Well, let's have us give her a call, see if we can figure out what's going on, if that's part of it, and see if we can get you a second date, okay? Yeah, I mean... Please. Hello. Hi, is this Andrea? Yes. Hey, this is the Hawkeye in the Morning Show from New Country 96.3. Can we talk to you on the air for a second? Uh, sure. <laughs> the reason we're calling you is we have a feature on the show called Second Date Update, and people call us when they had a great first date, but for some reason didn't get a second date, and we got a call about you. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember going out with Michael? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Well, he said you guys had a pretty nice date, and then uh, he said he never heard from you after that. Yeah, I mean, I guess, it was okay. Um, I guess I just, we didn't have chemistry. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, normally I, I go out with, like, jerks, I guess, just guys who are super into how they look, and my girlfriends convinced me to go out with a normal guy, and I don't know. I mean, not to be mean, but... Uh, there are only like so many long awkward silences i can do on the date so it just wasn't clicking for you yeah yeah maybe it was a confidence thing on his end i don't really know but but yeah it was fine okay all right well well here's the deal he asked us to call you on his behalf he's actually on the other line can we bring him in on this so just so he can get some closure oh my god um yeah i guess sure all right. michael are you there yeah hi Hi. <laughs> Sorry. This is awkward. Hi. Hi. Um, so, yeah, I just I was wondering, you know, because I, I called you and it, it, um, it just uh, it went straight to voicemail. And I just was wanted to just kind of get a, another um, just idea of like what was going on with uh, with you. Just like if it was something I said or did or anything like that. Um, yeah, no, I just didn't really feel like we clicked. Didn't okay. have a lot to talk about. Yeah. OK, so it wasn't any. It wasn't anything else or anything like that? Um, I didn't feel like maybe it was going anywhere. I, you know, I didn't want to waste um, your time. So. Okay, yeah, because I was just wondering if, um, you know, <laughs> if uh, I just did something wrong or said something or like, yeah, I was just kind of <laughs> wondering what the deal was. Michael, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Why? Wow, I'm just nervous. <laughs> Well, Andrea, we, we called to see if, if you'd like a second date with Michael. We'll pick up the tab for date number two. If you have any interest, would you like to go out again with Michael? I'm, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Okay, all right, Andrea, we're going we're gonna to let you go. Thank you so much for being part of the show here this morning. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, thanks. All right. Michael, you okay? Yeah, I just... I don't know. I guess you just need more confidence, right? Girls just like guys with confidence, so I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, just take it slow. Yeah, I don't know. She's this girl's like basically a model. I don't know. I just was super nervous. Maybe I just need to stick closer to people more in, in my number. Like a, I don't know, like a 
Or, or you know what? Like Maybe sure. you know what? Just if you realize that she picked you to go out on a date with on Bumble, keep that in the back of your mind and put you at ease before you go on the date. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're right. Yeah. So you know, but I'm look, I'm glad I I found out it wasn't uh, it wasn't a hiccup or anything, and hopefully I'll. I'll just be able to uh, do it better next time. So, you know, but I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah.